Oh, hello, and welcome to I Bought You Didn't Know, the show where our guests will take a few minutes to prove they know what they think they know, and if they don't know, they don't go home. I'm your host, Mike Barmundi, Product Marketing Manager for AI, Network, and Security here at Nutanix. Today's topic is VMware by Broadcom. There's a lot of misinformation out there, and we aim to clear that up and hopefully provide you an alternative of what's out there. We have two special guests with us today. First, Steve Carter, Product Marketing Manager for Nutanix Cloud Platform. Steve, welcome. Yeah, good to be here, Mike. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. Also with us today is William Bill Parks, Product Marketing Generalist. Yeah, thank you for having me and thanks for Steve allowing me to be here. Oh, okay, that's how that works. All right, Bill and Steve, you ready to play? Let me explain how this works. VMware by Broadcom is the topic today. Each of the categories listed that I'll explain in a second are all related to this one topic, VMware by Broadcom. Let's go through these categories. First, legit or not. Define in X. Number three, acronym Speedfire. Wildcards. Certs and Lee. All right, Steve, where do you want to go? Let's start with right at the beginning. Legit or nah for one? Legit or nah for one. A modern virtualized infrastructure is only available from VMware by Broadcom. Legit or nah? Bill. Oh, legit. Are you sure? Absolutely, 100%. I really thought you'd get this one, Bill. Steve, sounds like you have maybe something. All right, so definitely nah for this one. Nutanix, this is really what we do, right? Nutanix is a full replacement for virtualized infrastructure from VMware by Broadcom. That's better than we practice. That's I mean, that's boss. a good answer. That's why he's the boss. With that, Bill, you have the board. What's next? Why does he have the board? I thought he got it wrong. <laughs> We have different rules in this game, apparently. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah. No, I, I agree. Well, I'll, I'll make hey, up you pick that. it. Let's keep going. I'll take define in X for two. Bill, define in five words or less VMware by Broadcom ESXi alternative. I don't want to have to give you any hints on this one. Mm. It may be the product that you are in charge of marketing. I'm going to tap you in on this one, Steve. It's three letters. It's Nutanix AHV. Oh, come yeah. on, man. I was going to say that. Yeah, I bet you were. <clears throat> Nutanix AHV, why is that an alternative to ESXi? Yeah, so ESXi has been the essentially leading enterprise hypervisor, right? It's a great product. Customers love it. It powers businesses everywhere. Um, but because of the, the acquisition of VMware by Broadcom, um, a lot of customers are trying to figure out if they can mitigate risk, right? And so, AHV is really the only hypervisor out there that, that does everything that's needed for an enterprise to, to run their full virtual infrastructure. Okay, uh, let's move on. Um, Steve, you've got the board, what's next? Acronym Speedfire for two. Acronym Speedfire, risks associated with VMware by Broadcom. The first acronym is EOL, Bill, EOL. What does it stand for? Electronica Online, huh? Electronica Online? Yeah. I heard it somewhere. <laughs> but I feel like you're merging two 90s internet companies together in that one. Possibly. Uh, uh, end of life. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Which, that's, a, that's a great, I mean, how does that associate with VMware by Broadcom, though? Yeah, it's a good question. I think uh, some customers, you know, might be concerned about um, products potentially being end of life and are looking for uh, alternatives in case that happens. You were so good at this. Oh, I appreciate that, Bill. All right, Bill, here's a softball for you. Okay. Risks associated with VMware by Broadcom, mm -hmm. NPS, NPS. Got it. Neil Patrick Silvis. I, I don't think so. I... Vaporwave actor, you wouldn't know. Oh, I, maybe not. Steve, maybe you know? Not ringing any bells. Nope. Um, nope. Yeah, it stands for Net Promoter Score. Okay, what exactly is that? Um, so basically it's a metric for how companies are graded, typically based on support, um, and goes from negative 100 all the way up to 100. Nutanix is, is uh, really well known for having an NPS of over 90 for the last eight years, something we're really proud of. All right, Bill, mm -hmm. another softball. We'll see. Even slower pitch to you, TCO, 
Risks associated with VMware by Broadcom, TCO. I'm struggling, Mike. I feel like Steve has all the right answers. Why don't you just take this one? Total cost of ownership. Oh, interesting. What? Why is that? Yeah. Total cost of ownership is basically not only the cost of the actual goods that you buy, but then also the cost of maintaining and supporting and so on, right? So usually when companies are looking at the cost of really anything, but in particular in this context, infrastructure, they want to look at the total cost of ownership. And I think right now, a lot of virtual virtualization customers are really thinking hard about this metric. Yeah, I'd, I'd also probably add to that and say that Bill's total cost of ownership of being part of the Nutanix organization, probably pretty high. That's not fair. Okay, fair enough. Okay, here we go. I think we're good. Last one, legit or not, VMware by Broadcom is the only hybrid cloud infrastructure out there. Bill? Mm, uh, I really don't know why I'm here anymore. Go ahead, Steve. <laughs> Definitely not nah for this one. Oh. I think we all know that Nutanix has a uh, industry-leading hybrid cloud infrastructure um, that is really at the core of, of our products and services. What is the hybrid cloud in this context from an infrastructure standpoint in your mind? So the hybrid cloud basically refers to the ability to run applications across both um, on-prem data centers and public clouds. Um, and then we even take that a step further to hybrid multi-cloud, which involves the ability to run those workloads across multiple clouds um, and then um, migrate data and workloads across them as needed. Do you, you want to add this to that? stuff out? No. I, do you want to add to that at all? No, I just, it's unfair advantage. Oh, okay. I mean, that's something to add, I suppose. Bill and Steve, it is time for the final bot. This is how Final Bot works. You get one question that will determine whether you stay here if you lose or you get to go home. And you got to answer. Looking at you, Bill. Mm. All right. You ready? Got it. Here's the question. The best alternative to VMware by Broadcom is... I'll give you a second to answer. Bill, you can... Mainframe. What? Mainframe. That... Main frame, I think Mike. Bill just dated himself a little bit. I, I, I think, okay. Um, Steve, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. Steve, what, what answer do you have that maybe is related to that? Nutanix. Nutanix? Yeah. Why do you love Nutanix so much? This seems to come up a lot today. Well, look, it's not about love, although I've been here a long time and I think Nutanix is a great company, but so is VMware by Broadcom. I think what's happened is that after the acquisition, there are a lot of changes announced already and a lot of changes that I think people are worried about what's coming. And so customers are trying to figure out what their alternatives are or whether they should mitigate risk in light of pending uncertainty. Um, and so, you know, we've been longtime partners with VMware, right? And um, that's how we got started as a company, supporting VMware environments. And I think we want to continue supporting VMware customers, uh, you know, despite what happens to them as a company. Well, that's a great answer. I mean, how does mainframes fit into that? Is that is there any part of mainframes for... Not even in the slightest. No, nope, I didn't think so either. Great. With that, Steve, congratulations. You won it. Bill, you're staying here. What do you mean, staying here? You're staying right there. In this room? On that couch. For congratulations. How long? how long? Pretty comfy, though, so... <laughs> Steve, we will send you in three to six weeks a complimentary gift basket full of Panera bread. Coupons, not gift cards, because we can't afford that yet. <laughs> Bill's asleep. Okay. Well, he's staying here, so here we are. Hey, for all you out there, if you want to know more, please click the link in the description below, and please like and subscribe. This allows you to get more funny or unfunny content you can post anywhere. Also, feel free to comment below on things you may have liked, not liked or thinks you were off on, we'll be more than happy to engage with you. See you next time on I Bought You Didn't Know.